It's me, Mario. Hello. Hello, everybody. I am Game Master Now and I'm back with another Game Master 909 plays. Today, I will be playing the 3D platforming classic straight from Nintendo from 1996, Super Mario 64. And so we have a pretty unconventional title screen here as it's a floating Mario head. I don't really see that anywhere else. Rather than just, I don't know, having the title. It's, of course you have the title in the background, but the main thing in the spotlight is none other than the head of Mario himself. This is most likely done just to see, just to show the people, hey, this is what the N64 is capable of, the Nintendo 64. Check out these 3D graphics. I mean, this was this must have been revolutionary for 1996, you know? I mean, I get that the PlayStation was already out, even in North America, for about a year by the time this came out in 1996. But it's, it still looks great. And you could even use this cursor <laughs> to stretch out his, uh, his facial features. Move them wherever. Look at that. And if you hold the R button on the Nintendo 64 controller, you can have them stay in place and make many, many freakish creations. Because you can move the ears, the mustache, and his hat. And using the C buttons on the Nintendo 64 controller, you can move Mario's head to wherever so that you can adjust him from all sorts of angles. I'm sorry we haven't even gotten to the game itself. This is just way too much fun. Let's see what exactly we can create. What creatures straight from hell we can summon into the Mushroom Kingdom. Alright, let's press start. And so, of course, you can do all sorts of stuff in the select file screen. I already have a save file. By the way, we will getting we will be getting all 120 stars in this game. So basically, 100% completing the game through and through. You can keep the score of the individual save files. You can copy a save file, you can erase a save file, and you can change the sound settings. Stereo, mono, and headset. Mono, my bad. <laughs> I don't know why I pronounce it like that. Mono, ah, uh, whatever. Um, and headset, which is weird because the Nintendo 64 doesn't even have like a conventional way. Unless you were to, I don't know, plug up a headphone via the uh, AV output, or yeah, AV output cables, which I'm sure you can do that somehow. Actually, I think I have a converter for that, weirdly enough, but anyways, we'll go with stereo because that's the, usually the normal sound setting with most TVs, and we will start a new game. Alright, so we're promised some cake from the loyal, from the royal, that says Peach, which, interestingly, she was always called Toadstool over here in North America, while always being known as Peach in Japan. Hmm. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is everything around and in. Including castle itself, Princess Peach's castle. And there he is! It's none other than Mario! In 3D for... the first time? When did Mario Teaches Typing 2 come out? Because that had some... some, like, cutscenes of a fly, flying Mario head. If you're a YouTube poop person, you would know about those. Anyways, ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. 
Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump, and B to attack. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now, head for the castle. So yes, one revolutionary thing about the N64 is its use of an analog stick for control rather than the typical D-pad. Now there is a D-pad on the Nintendo 64 controller, but it's barely used in any games. So, like I said, one about the game being revolutionary and, oh, okay, is that it's a full-on 3D platform. You can go wherever you want in 360 degrees. Because, you know, all of Mario's previous games were mostly side-scrollers. And now we get to go wherever we want. We can jump. We can kick with the attack button. We can slide. We can even crouch and do a little crawl if you hold the crouch button. That's Z. I forget, I don't have to... I don't have to be, like, super broad about certain buttons because I'm not playing a multi-platform game. Because this was only released on the Nintendo 64. At least until the game got constantly re-released on the Wii, Wii U, and Nintendo Switch. Princess Toadstool's castle is just ahead. Press A to jump, Z to crouch, and B to punch. Pretty much what I just explained. Read a sign or grab something. So yeah, you're able to grab stuff, kind of like in previous Mario games, like Mario 3 and Mario World. Press B again to throw something you're holding. And look at those butterflies, isn't that beautiful? And so yeah, we can even climb on trees. This will come in handy later. As there's stuff you can hold onto and jump off outside of trees. And here we are with Lakitu. Good afternoon! The Lakitu brothers here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and we will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up. Press A to resume play. Switch cam camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Brothers. And so that's how they handled the camera for this. Since 3D platforming, of course, was a pretty new concept. Now, it had been done before with games like Crash Bandicoot. But having this free camera that's able to go wherever, they, of course, kind of had to have a simple way of demonstrating that. And they did it with the Lakitu flying around you with the camera. Now, if you press the R button, you get a Mario view to where the camera will always be behind Mario. This camera view can be useful in certain situations, especially in more enclosed and less open areas, which we'll see later. Anyways, let's go inside Peach's castle. Why don't we? Welcome! No one's home. Now scram! And don't come back! Wahaha! What could that voice be? We'll find out later. And here we are inside Peach's castle, with all sorts of doors, some coins, and a nice wallpaper. Might have been painted on, who knows looks nice. wonder who decorated it. What does this toad over here have to say? Am I glad to see you, the princess, and I, and well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls. There's a door, you know. Bowser has stolen the castle's stars, and he's using the, their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start in the one with the painting of the bob inside. Of bob inside. Okay. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. 
The princess must be inside. Thank you. So yeah, our primary collectible is stars. Now there are also coins you can collect which can be used to get more stars along with replenishing your health and gaining extra lives as seen in the top left with the Mario icon. That lets you know how many lives we have. If you die in a level, uh, that takes away one life. And once you uh, hit zero, or actually, once you have zero and then die again, it's game over and you have to start from your previous save. So anyways, let's go over here to this door as we head on into this bob -omb painting. So yeah, that's another cool thing is that the way you enter levels is by jumping through paintings. Yep. As we enter course one, bob -omb Battlefield, with our first star we'll be, we will be collecting out of 120, Big bob -omb on the summit. And so here we are. Oh, wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob -omb buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. Harid signs, stop, face them, and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. And yeah, there you go. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is bob -omb Battlefield. Pretty much just a grassy plain with some other stuff, such as cannons, which kind of puts the battlefield in bob -omb Battlefield. Let's talk to this pink bob -omb over here. Hey you, it's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The big bob -omb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're bob -omb buddies, and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you'd like to. Alright. Talk to this one over here, then. Watch out! If you wander around here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemy bob bombs love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob bomb got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big bob bomb. Please come back to see me after you've achieved the power star. Alright. So the big bob bomb on the summit is up that tall hill. So we'll have to go up there in order to get our first power star. So yeah, what you saw right there was a Goomba. And they'll just head towards you, and they will simply punt you. Now, you can e you can defeat them of either two, one of either two ways. You can punch them, or on, you can bounce on top of them. Man, Bowser's got to think of more threatening enemies up as a uh, uh, in his arsenal. I don't know why I said up as that sounded weird. That right there is a red coin. We'll be collecting those in other missions. Don't you worry. And that right there, and this right here is a bob -omb. They will chase after you. And after a certain time, they will explode. So you better be careful and not get near them. And that enemy right there is a chain chomp. Literally a black ball that acts like a dog. And is barking and trying to get you. As they are on a leash. Nope. Let's read this. <laughs> nice. Let's read this sign. Hold Z to crouch and slide down a slope. Or press Z while in the air to pound the ground. If you stop, crouch, then jump, you'll do a backward somersault. Got that? There's more. Crouch and then jump to do a long jump. Or crouch and walk to... Never mind. You can crawl. And what it means by the backward somersault is if you hold Z and then press A, you'll do that. It's pretty useful in certain cases. And if you run, press Z and then A, you'll do a long jump. That's also really useful in some cases. 
And if you jump and then press Z, we'll do a ground pound. Once again, that's also useful in certain cases. And those are the water bombs we better watch out for. Get some coins. And look at that! It's a one-up mushroom. Those give you more lives. It gives you one extra life. That's really all it does. Better watch out for these cannonballs. Now, if you notice, uh, all of the circular objects in this game are not 3D models. They are actually just sprites. Or textures. That will always be facing the camera. And I think that's a pretty clever way to pull off circles without without using too much of the Nintendo 64's hardware. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I think it... I think the illusion um, is done pretty well. And what's the word? It's very convincing. Like as the spheres on King bob -omb over here. I am the big bob -omb, lord of all blasting matter, king of the kabooms the world, er, king of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurt me to this royal turf? I think you, that you cannot. Well, let's find out about that. So this whole boss battle is that King bob just run towards you. And you have to out, I guess, outrun him to where you'll reach his back. And, whoops. Oh, yeah, watch out for that. He'll pick you up. And throw you. Great. So what you gotta do is... Oh, come on. Ugh. And I believe if you fall off, the boss battle just resets entirely. So you gotta pick him up and throw him. You gotta do that three times and the boss is over. So pretty much run around until you reach his backside. Or you could... You could jump over, yeah. That works. Look at that. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you run and then turn around and then jump, you can do that. One of my favorite jumps in the game. It's pretty high and it's pretty... You don't need a lot of room in order to do it. Wow, what? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob King? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Me thinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. Thank you, bob -omb, for breaking the fourth wall. Anyways, there is our first power star, and all we have to do is just jump into it, or run into it, or whatever. There we go! We got a power star. like 25 coins and that's our high score on the level and right on the top right you see we have one star you've recovered one of the stolen power stars now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of the womps fortress on floor one bowser's troops are still gaining power so you can't give up save us mario Keep searching for stars. Alright, so for now, 
We'll head back into Bob on battle. We'll head back into Bob on battlefield for a foot race with Koopa the Quick. So that guy over there, that turtle over there, is a Koopa Troopa. All right. So earlier, this Bob Omb said we better talk to him again. Thank you, Mario. The big Bob Omb is nothing but a big dud now. But the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the other power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My Bob Omb buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll set up cannons for you. All right. So yeah, if you ever see these plates or just platforms with an icon of a pink bob -omb, that means there will be a pink bob -omb nearby, which you have to talk to. We're peace-loving bob -omb, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage! And yeah, that's what it does. Now have a cannon you can jump into. Ready for last off. Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the control stick to aim and press A to fire. If you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. And yeah, we can jump into this. We are now in the cannon. Pretty much just aim where we want to go. And press A. Blast off! Look at that. We're all the way over here. Alright, anyways. Let's go talk to Koopa the Quick. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the big bob -omb? Cool! You must be strong, and pretty fast. So, how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountain stop, where the big bob -omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Sure. And so basically we have to race against Koopa the Quick to get on top of the summit where we previously defeated King bob -omb. So we even have a timer. Now, I, I don't actually know what exact time uh, Koopa the Quick gets up there. I'll probably show in some text, as I'll probably look it up in the editing. Whoops. That's a thing. Sometimes when I try to do a long jump by pressing Z and then A, I accidentally press A and then Z, which does a ground pound. Yeah. And oh, by the way, if you use this, if you go into here, I believe. Yep. It sends you up here. There's a lot of those kind of warp points in these stages. I believe there's another one in this stage in particular. So there's the flag. We've done it. We have beaten Koopa the Quick. Now where is he? Whatever. Here's a cool thing. Uh, you may notice Mario looks different if you see him far away. That's because there's actually two different 3D models of Mario. One that's used up close and is more detailed, and one that's used in far away, which is less detailed, so that it could uh, render it could render more environments as Mario's farther away to to render more environments from farther away while still keeping a smooth frame rate. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won it, fair and square. And there we go. We have our second power star. Trust me when I say, that won't be the last time we'll be seeing Koopa the Quick. And yeah, we got no coins. All right, we'll save and continue. As we head back into Bob on Battlefield. As we shoot to the island in the sky. Now you may have noticed that there is a floating island over there. Now how exactly do we get up there? Well, 
Of course, we previously talked about um, the cannons that can be found in the state. Now, there are four of them. The one we saw earlier over at the start point. There's also one right here. And we can try our best to reach the island from up here. It did not work. All right. But we do have another cannon over here. That's pretty nice. So this is where the third of the four cannons are. And we can even try to aim for that tree over there that we could probably hold on to. Well, it didn't work, but we got up here anyway. It's good design. When you put on the wing cap that comes from a red block, do the triple jump to soar high into the sky. Use the control stick to guide Mario. Pull back to fly up, press forward to nose down, and press Z to land. And so, yeah, that's something that'll uh, appear later. For now, we can't do anything with this. But later on, we'll be able to get different power-ups that you'll get from these different colored um, exc exclamation blocks. These are different caps that Mario can wear to gain different abilities. And one of them is a wing cap, which lets you fly. Pretty cool. Now these yellow ones are just random stuff, whether it be a one-up mushroom, a coin, or multiple coins, or in this case, a star. And this gives us our third power star. Alright. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. All right. Now we must find the eight red coins. So this is... Oh, sorry about that. I just keep on a habit of just flicking the... Uh, what do you call it? Little handle on the Nintendo 64 controller, which lets you insert packs such as the Rumble Pack and the Controller Pack. Oh, right, we're supposed to be collecting the eight red coins. I was explaining about this earlier, and now this is a this is a certain star that could be found in all 15 stages in the game, along with some extra stages, where you simply collect eight red coins and you get a star. Alright, that's three. That's the thing I don't like about the Lakitu camera. It can't really like turn all the way. I don't really, I don't really like the Mario camera either. Yeah. But I do like that, yeah, you can zoom out the Lakitu camera and get a better glimpse at your surroundings. You find another red coin. Six out of eight. Now, I do know where another one of the red coins are, so we will keep looking. Where am I going? Did I just see one? Oh. But yeah, those crates you can just punch to destroy, and sometimes they will contain them. Also, yeah, here's the fourth of uh, the four cannons found in this stage. And there it is. Slide down, and we missed it. Great. Wonder if we'll be able to run up the slope. Nope. Great. So, you might be wondering, when did I first play this game? Well, I did not grow up playing... Well, I kind of did grow up playing the N64 version, but I first played the remake of this game that was on the Nintendo DS. So yeah, alongside the release of the Nintendo DS in 2004, they remade Super Mario 64, probably just to show off the fact that, yep, the DS can achieve 3D graphics. 
and so they remade the game with some extra content, including the ability to play as other characters outside of Mario, including his brother Luigi, his rival Wario, and his noble steed Yoshi. Oops. Now, uh, where's that? Oh, you know what? It's on that. It's on the top of the island from earlier. I'm sure this will do it. Ooh, just barely. And there it is. There's the eighth red coin. There we go. There's our power star over there. And so yeah, you may notice the uh, blue star below it. That's just to let you know. Okay, that's where the star will spawn once we'll be able to get it. So it can kind of let you map out which ones you're going to get in what order in order to do it in the fastest time. I don't know. I can't really think of any other reason. And there it is. Our fourth power star. As a Goomba right, ran right through me. All right. Mario wings to the sky. And we can't do this one. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. You need the wing cap in order to do this. There are special caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. This is what I meant by different color blocks containing different caps. Step on the switches in the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. So yeah, there's hidden courses across the game that let you, that grant access to these caps that could be used to get many different stars. And so yeah, unfortunately we will not be able to do this one until we have gotten the uh, wing cap. Well, actually, now that I think about it, you're, you're probably able to see it. Ah, never mind. We'll get to that later. Yeah. So for now, once we're we're not done with Bob on Battlefield because each stage contains six main stars. Now there's also one extra star you can get for gaining or for collecting 100 coins in that stage. Uh, I wonder if we should. I'll have the wing cap, and a lot of the coins require the wing cap. I'll get to it later. <laughs> 